Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just giving you guys an update on the uh, Thomas model that I'm making based off of Wilbert Audrey's um, original Thomas design, which you can see right here. I printed it off for reference. That's the original design, the very first drawing of Thomas done by the creator himself. So I figured why not make it? So my models um, aren't um, playable. They're they're just stationary models that I enjoy building. Um, but yeah, just giving you guys an update. Um, did my own concept art of what I would think the engine would look like in Thomas's original colors. Um, but I'm still debating on if I should do the light blue, like his railway series, or I did a little mock-up right here, or go with the teal. But anyway, just giving you guys an update on what I've been doing with him. Um, I gave him some borders. I just made those with some regular um, kind of cardstock construction paper. You can get at any craft store or any department store. Um, made his short stumpy boiler, short stumpy funnel, all made with Sculpey bakeable clay. This is it. I mean, you just mold it and bake it. Um, I filled up all of the cracks. I, I know it looks rough, but I filled up all the cracks with stuff that's called dry decks. And I'll bring it into view. Um, it's, it's a joint compound, but I use it to in all of my... Uh, models. It's just to fill up any like little cracks, little loose ends, you know, stuff that you don't really want to fix manually. Just want to, you know, fill them up. Um, I'm not going to sand it down. There's really no point in it. It's just a model. Um, the paint will smooth all that out. Um, I did the same exact techniques with a uh, lady as I'm doing with this engine right here. So at some point in the past, this looked like this. So it's worked out for me so far. Um, I've been debating on tire sizes. Um, I was going to go with bigger tires, but I thought they just didn't look right, so I'm going with a medium-sized tire. They will be made out of clay as well. But yeah, just giving you guys an update on the model. Um, it's looking pretty good. I like the shape. I like how it's turning out. Um, I'm debating whether to add some coal in the back. I really didn't give any room for that. But um, on my concept, as you can see right there, I have, you know, coal on the top of the tinder. But yeah, it's coming along. Tomorrow, I think the only thing to do is base coat paint with um, chalky gray spray paint that you can get at, like, Walmart. Um, let me go get that real fast. So this is what I use for all of my base coats. I don't use white. Um, chalky finish, misty gray. It's probably the best. It's this color. Probably the best for any type of a base coat. You can use it on light colors, um, dark colors. It's just a really good starting period because it gives it that chalky, grainy finish that'll just, any, any paint will adhere to it. If you are going to take tips from me and make models like this, I recommend you do a base coat of the chalky misty gray finish instead of just painting it because painting it will reactivate almost all of the um, dried um, putty um, and it just won't pick up well. You need an even coat on all the layers of every part of the model just so you get a seamless finish. But yeah, still debating whether to go with the original, you know, blue color, or I did a little mock-up right here of um, Audrey's uh, first official model. Um, it was a teal color with gold trim. Oh, I also am thinking about making his little coach too. There's diesel tin. But I think after this model, um, one of my, um, brother's co-workers asked me to make a flying Scotsman model and I don't think I'm that advanced just yet so um, I think after Thomas I'm going to move on to the concept art of Edward since Edward is my favorite 
engine in all of the railway series ever. He was the first engine I was introduced to. He was the first engine I've seen him and James, but Edward, top notch. Um, yeah, I've been trying to dig down um, in the Thomas, you know, rabbit hole for more concept art because I live for concept art. I see all of these um, 3D printed engines that people are making and they're beautiful, but I'm more um, do it by your hand type of artist. Um, 3D printing is great. I'm looking to get a 3D printer myself, um, but that's mainly for the buildings that I build. Um, I just prefer doing things by hand. It's what I've always known, it's what I've always done, and it hasn't failed me yet. But I try to do all of my models by hand, clay, paper, you know, glue, paint, done. Um, none of them move. Um, they're all stationary, and I prefer it like that, just so they're not, you know, like rolling off the edge of anything. You know, they're just clay wheels that I make. Um, but yeah updated Thomas. Um, I think I'm going to give him his, uh, uh, the interior of the uh, cabin and everything else like I did with Lady too. But still debating on that coal, still debating on if I should paint the, paint the inside black or paint it blue or teal or whatever. But yeah, he's uh, coming along. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys in the last video, but I'm just going to show you again anyway if I did. And this is what I'm talking about, the little like controls and lady that I made, which was really fun to make. Um, still debating on if I should put those in Thomas. But yeah, um, let me know what you think. Let me know um, what color you guys think I should paint him. Should I paint him the original Thomas blue or should I go with the Wilbert Audrey color design, which would be teal? And again, you know, that's the blue and that would be the teal. Um, I like either of them. Um, let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, share, and do whatever. Have a good one. Thank you.